carried over into the 1980s and the first uprising in 1982 facing in St. Paul's that was in, that was in Bristol. In 1981, there was also the New Cross Fire, Turkey, Dead and Nazi, <laughs> yeah. uh, where a party full of Africans was firebombed and 30 Africans were killed in, in the party and it was the overwhelming view of the Africans that it was, that it was a racist That's right. European that threw right. a firebomb into the window. Yeah. Right? And there were was, was protests, this few, what was called the National Black People's Day of Action. The, 25,000 Africans came out on the street when they heard National Black People's Day of yeah. Action. Think about it. Imagine you had National Black People's Day of Action today. <laughs> and how many, how many African people were turn out on the street? Mm. Yeah, because then we had a culture that we had to do. We heard National yeah. Black People's Day of Action and we didn't have to be here. Because you're black people. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Right? And so the, the, the chart for that was blood like a run in Germany. There, right, and, and you know, there was a petition sent to the, to the British government, and they did not and said nothing, and the police never, uh, that never had to answer to nothing, and all kind of thing. There was also an uh, operation called Operation Swamp, which was a suck and search operation that, yeah. that, that, that was in Bristol that led to an uprising in Bristol in 1981. Right. Also, um, there were peer uprisings in 1981, there was uprisings in Bolton, in Chapel Town, Hackney, Hansworth. Um, in, in Birmingham, High Wickham, Leicester, mm -hmm. Luton and in Liverpool mm -hmm. yeah, when African youths were rising up mm -hmm. against the injustices that they were facing all over the country it's not just London, you know, it's all over the country when I, was, when I was researching this issue, I was amazed to see the amount of history that, is, that we have in this country that we just don't know about we're talking about 20, 20 years ago yeah, we're talking about 20 years ago, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Like I said, there were there was, there was uprisings um, in, 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 in Brixton, in Bolton, Chapel Town, Hackney, Hansworth, Highbridge, Leicester, Luton, Liverpool, and not one gun was fired. Yeah? There was no guns no gun. around in that time. Sorry, yeah? Is it? There was no gun right. around in that time. Say one more thing. One more thing. Yeah, rockstone thing. Say one more thing. Right. Sick. Beat people and all kind of thing, but there were no guns. No gun. Yeah, we never had no gun. In 1980, the brutality that you're facing now, growing up, in, and this is Africans born over here, growing up in a, in a, in a society that hates them, British, British, that ex, right. in a British society that expresses hatred for them consistently. So right. the education system just just walking down the street, the mm -hmm. employment offices, man can't get a job and that kind of thing. What's going on? Which then to all say, as a footnote, 1983 was also the year that the American government invaded Grenada mm -hmm. and killed up Boris Bishop, mm -hmm. yeah, who was revolutionizing Grenada at the time. Not fish that need to get to grips with. Mm -hmm. There's so much. In 1985, which was a hot year for African people, again there was a Hansworth revolution uprising in Hansworth. Right. Yeah, and again we talk about the thing there. You know, steel products and thing there was writing tune about them, the, 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 the sort of situation. Right. And you know, you had to face through by um, 630 African youths were arrested in the space of like two, two weeks. There were also uprisings in Brixton that was sparked by the shooting of Cherry Grove. She was shot in the back. Yeah. By the police. That, you know, that was it. Yeah, shot in the back and paralyzed by the police. And that, that, that led to an uprising in Brixton. And then there was Broadwater Farm yeah, in Tottenham. That was sparked by the murder of Cynthia Jarrett. Yeah. Yeah. Cynthia Jarrett was killed by the police. They, they, they went into a kicking kick her door looking for her son. Right, and when she tell us, say, I feel after that he's not there. They push out them, and you know she had a heart attack, and eventually died. And the Africans were having it, no more. Right. and they rose up, yeah. and they rose up, and that was a hot battle. That battle, you know, that battle was hot. Yeah, yeah. 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 fire burns, and, and also, yeah. I, 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 it was so hot that even Bernie Grant politician had to say, yeah. "Look how bloody good hide." Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right? In, in the midst of that battle, and that, that I mean 
truck that was burning, and, and, and police was there was full scale war going on between the police and the police. Yes. So much so that uh, that, uh, that um, a policeman named PC Blader, they they say he was hacked to death. Yeah. Um, and you know, I found all the money on the hood. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we, the community has to galvanize in order to help people that live under yeah, the yeah, to bring them food. I know how to think. And, I, and um, my father, and Sister Kai was involved in that campaign of bringing in food for the people there. Africans actually bring in food to support the campaign and you know, and Africans are galvanizing. We had, we had a, 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 a level of unity here that we just haven't maintained. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so as I said, the estate was under teacher about six months. And there were complaints that you couldn't get no ganja no more. The guys are gone, you couldn't get no ganja, no weed, you can't sell it, and you know what I mean, and everything there. However, crack was ready to be available. Right? Crack was ready to be available, but you couldn't get no ganja on board what father's name. Right? And ganja was, I, I, or, or food. In fact, apparently there was even trouble with electricity and water. That's right. They couldn't that's get into the estate. That's but crack was there. That's right. And if you know African people, especially in their time, we didn't really even crack things to talk. Yeah. Let's go for the ganja, we didn't really even crack things to talk. You know what I'm saying? We were the end of the crack things. So where was the crack coming? Yeah, I grew up from under siege for six months. What were they doing in there? Never had no guns before. Right? After six months, guns were going to be available, crack was going to be available. Yeah, so we see that the British government using their police system and their advice on their pity in, in America, yeah, created the guns and drug problem in the African community. Right? And bearing in mind that this is the 80s, I guess, and you've got a new generation of African people being born into a society that where guns and drugs is a reality now. Yeah, the uprisings don't mean nothing. Like I said, I was born in the 80s, though. Most of my, 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 my peers don't really know about this issue. Right? But we, but we do know about the guns and the drugs and the knife and the guns and the area and all that kind of thing there. Right? We was grown up in this reality now. So that allows for a new culture of guns and drugs to affect our whole new generation of disaffected Africans. But all the other systems have been decided we're treating them the same. The school cool system was treating them the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we were still underachieving, mm -hmm. being excluded and so on and so forth from the school. Mm -hmm. You know, and but well, now we had a new way out. Our way out now wasn't just get together and organize and galvanize the people. No, we can sell crap and make some money around here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? 